welcome to the video my friends if you can hear the aircon i've got it fixed finally so i can actually keep doing stuff while it's super hot which it is i hope you're doing well in this heat and staying safe we are going to take a look at horizon zero dawn pc port today from gorilla now it looks amazing as we'll see in the video but performance is uh, a little bit questionable so we're playing 1440p throughout this maximum settings we drop some settings to try and get uh, a, a good mixture of performance to, to looks and see what we can get like preferable performance wise uh, to play you know we want to reach around the 60 fps mark do a comparison with death stranding as well which is obviously still using the decimer engine but it was a lot more newer modified version of the decimer engine and it did run better so we'll we'll do an analysis of that as well with our usual overlays and keeping in mind the recommended specs is an intel core i7 4770k with a geforce gtx 1060 or amd equivalent and i'm running the 3900x and a 2070 super so keep those in mind at 1440p as we move on to the analysis for Horizon Zero Dawn. Enjoy. There we go. We are ultra everything except for motion blur, of course. 1440p, V-Sync off, 165 hertz. Not that we're going to hit that. HDR's off at the moment because I disabled it. Because the um, image looked weird for me with HDR on, so I disabled it. But anyway... Let's head outside. Looks nice in this cave. Nice volumetric effects, light shafts. Are there volumetric fogs there? Flogs? And fog. But uh, yeah, we'll drop some settings, see what we can do to improve FPS, but not, you know, degrade the visuals much. But yes, yeah, it's, it's around 50, 50 to 60 FPS. Take this medicine pouch. I'll show you how to fill it. Hmm, yes, drugs. So currently we are floating up to, well, around 50, mid 50. Gather the berries. High 48, 40 plus. It looks really nice, but yeah, performance hey, isn't Come now. great. The look at the tree closely. Let's have a look. Oh, I forgot about the ants. Nice one, Sleeper. Yeah, we're in the in the world now. I shouldn't imagine it'll get much better than that in the world. So what we'll do is we will turn those clouds off, like you say. Um, see if we can tweak, or not off, to tweak the FPS to get a more stable, like, 60 FPS plus. And then we're happy with that. Um, so turn them to high clouds. So that's a little bit more stable in the mid to high 50s. Uh, on those graphic settings there, we've had a drop down and a drop... Feel, anastropic filtering. That textures are going to look horrible, though, if we go... Oh, my God, it's going to look horrible. It's high 50s to 60 now. 57, 60. Now I've restarted the game, so... Between 50 and 60 FPS currently. Calculated with 1440p, maxed out. Um, we'll go over the, the settings just quickly while you're here. So we've had to drop a few to get a 60-ish FPS. Um, it's not the greatest optimized, but that said, we are playing 1440p. Um... We've set it to ultra, and all we've turned down is filtering shadows, reflections, they and, and and clouds. Those four seem to impact FPS the most. Anything else we changed didn't really change FPS at all. These two, these four seem to make the biggest impact on FPS improvement, or you know, having them higher, it, it just destroys your FPS. We were at about forty before I turned these down to medium. Um, if I turn it to high, it didn't really change. Medium did a drastic change in performance to get us to a, like a, a decent sixty FPS at four and forty p. Oh, Jesus. Oh, brother. It's not too bad maxed out. I mean, we've, we've put everything back maxed out and it's like 40 to 50. It's playable. It's better than the console, so... And it looks a hell of a lot better. That's for sure. 
Um, super fun though, I'm having fun actually. As I've not played it since PS4. Oh, missed that shot. Yeah, yeah, controls are working fine. There's no, like, mouse acceleration, actually. That's a good shout, actually, talking about the controls. It feels really good. Like, I'm having no problems shooting anything or anything like that. Definitely a big difference with the shadows and the atmosphere and things when it's on maxed. A lot, of, a lot more particle effects and things like that. Which is weird. It seems to reduce the particle effects with the settings we turned down, because I, I wouldn't have thought that really had anything to do with it, but... Seems like there is a lot more detail about, and shadows and everything that look a lot better. Sorry, Mr. Fox. But I need some foods. So yeah, on Ultra, and um, we're heading into a bit more of a busy area into this town here. FPS isn't ideal. Um, we're looking at 40 for those that's watching the stream. Up to 50 now. Down in the 30s as well at one point there. There's nothing wrong with the textures, though. Pray textures are pretty nice. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day. Can't complain at those textures, for sure. So there we go in Mother's Heart, and we are looking at 30 FPS. Dipping and bobbing 33 FPS at the moment. 35 and uh, just below depending on where we're looking yeah so it's definitely with half our fps pretty much just coming into here a lot of characters about um, i do want to do um i do want to do a comparison with their stranding though now we've got the 1440p as the last analysis we did on that we were at 1080p So we could do that just now quickly. All right, straight off in the uh, the little relaxation room here, we are at 85 FPS. So let's see if we can just get out and have a mosey about. How do we get the bloody hell out of here? Look at that FPS, look. This is 1440p. We're getting double on average what we were getting in Horizon. Obviously, it's a lot more of an open area, but I guarantee you this will stay like this FPS most of the time. Like, we'll hardly see a dip. Sam, Cairo crystals are pretty small and can be difficult to spot with the naked eye. All right, we are at 1440, 144 frames. We're not going to reach that 1440, and we are looking at our graphics quality, which is high. Um, or the highest, we can't put that in up anymore, but we will put DLSS on performance. Okay, I think we have gained some FPS to turn in DLSS 2.0 on in Death Stranding. So, again, it's better FPS anyway without it on, but we have definitely gained a bit of FPS. Just by enabling the DLSS, which didn't really work for me on 1080, but 1440 definitely works. That is so much better. Maxed out, 1440p, DLSS 2.0, and it looks amazing. Get them crystals, boy. So yeah, there's a comparison with Death Stranding. Hope you guys found that interesting or helpful. Yeah, optimizations definitely need a little bit of a work. There's no DLSS support. NVIDIA drivers I don't believe we've had for support for Horizon Zero Dawn yet. So we'll take another look when NVIDIA drivers are out, maybe for optimizations further down the line. So it, for the most part, out in the world, it ran okay, even at max settings 1440p. But as we saw, Death Stranding runs a good 20, 30 FPS more. On the higher settings with DLSS on, especially we're getting that, that 30 FPS uh, increase, which yeah, it's a more sparse kind of area, but uh, it, it definitely looks better on the characters, animations, and things like that. Facial wise, anyway, there's a lot more of those fine, minute details in the face structures and uh, the specular details and things like that. I don't know what I'm on about, but uh, leave a comment in the section below. You know, the comment section below, if I can speak, and uh, let me know what you think of Horizon Zero Dawn. Did it run good for you? Did you find a little tweak that makes it run super, super sexy that we could look at in a future video? Don't forget to follow us on stream as we did all this live on stream day one of release. And we do that with all games. Flight Simulator will be the next one we do on day of release. 
and then make a YouTube analysis of that. So leave a like, of course, and subscribe if you enjoy the content I create or dislike if uh, if you don't like it. That's, it's all it, it, it all helps. Uh, I love you all. Don't forget that. Stay safe, and I'll see you peeps next time.